Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I created this look which is a vintage glamour style winterish look and if you'd like to find out how to recreate it then just keep watching. So starting with a freshly clean place we're going to apply a primer to the whole face like so and awkwardly with one hand up. Oh, now I have two hands. Good. Now taking a foundation I'm going to apply this to the back of my hand before buffing it all over my face and this is a process that we can speed up. I wish I could actually do this this fast in real life though. that pesky piece of hair. Okay, once I finish I'm going to take a, conce uh, not a concealer, a, uh, a bronzer or a contour colour, that's the word I was looking for, and apply that randomly to my face. No, in the three shape on the side of my face, down my nose, and I'm pretty sure I will put it across my eyelids too to get, to create some shadow there as well. Taking a blending tool, I'm going to blend that in so I don't look like I have a weird skin condition. Weird puffer face, fish the face there. that you've blended out all the colour so there's no harsh lines on your face because they're telltale signs when you have those kind of lines happening all over your face. So blending is the key. Now I'm going to take a bronzing powder to just set the cream contouring colour in place and just brighten it up a little bit and make it more defined in these areas. So just taking it along there and just making sure to blend it out so again there's no harsh lines on the face. what it should look like once you finish doing that. Now I'm going to take a highlighter. I'm taking a gold highlighter just to add some warmth, especially when it's more of a wintry look. You want to add a bit more warmth to the face. So I'm taking a gold highlighter here and applying this on the highest points of my cheekbones, along the bridge of my nose and across my cupid's bow as well. Taking a setting powder, I'm going to apply this all over my face to set our base in place. That's why it's called a setting powder. Now taking an eyebrow pencil, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and shape them to give them a more defined look and also to make sure that they don't look really yuck without filled in spaces and just make them look a lot more nicer than they really do. And now put a mirror in front of my face so you can't see. Okay, now taking a champagne goldy colour to apply all over my lid. I'm going to use my finger to apply this as it's pretty much the best tool to use on the eye area. So you don't tug and pull really. And I think it applies the colour the best really. Now I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend out the harshness of any lines that I've created with my finger. Just make sure it's just well blended in and looks 
flawless, I guess. black color which is pretty much one of the scariest eyeshadows to apply on your eyes and you can't see what I'm doing right now but I'm getting a brush an angled brush to apply this just onto my top lash line you don't have to be too careful with this as we're going to blend it out and you can't see what I'm doing at all so that's great but what I'm doing is just applying it to my lash line the upper lash line and I'm going to then take a blending brush just to blend it out to smoke it like this. And just protect and repeat this program. Uh, I <laughs> hate when you get jumbled up with words. And just repeat. Repeat, oh my gosh, repeat this progress on the other side as now, well. Now taking a black liquid liner, I'm going to line my eyes and I am absolutely terrible at doing this. I see every time that I do perfect eyeliner on one eye, I go to try and do it on the same, on the other side, the same and it just stuffs up so you end up having to make your eyes the same and then it just looks weird. Anyone else have that problem? Like this video if you do. Now I'm taking a mascara and I'm going to apply this on my lashes, both my top and bottom lashes, and just apply an even coating on both of them. Oh, and I feel like I'm terrible at doing my mascara on this eye. I don't know if, does anyone else have this problem where you have one eye you can apply mascara on perfectly, but the other you just like, it doesn't work. Leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have this problem as well. Now taking a vampy purple color lipstick, we'll apply this all over the lips just to give it just some a pop of colour which you need in winter just to brighten things up I guess and of course Vintage Glam they always wore their darkish vampy kind of colour lips so it's perfect to fit in that style and you can't see what I'm doing but I guess that saves me from being embarrassed from the, the weird lipstick applying face that everyone calls when they apply lipstick now I'm going to take a lip gloss in a similar shade, more of a darker purple with, I think it has a bit of a gold glitter in it. And I'm going to apply this over just to give it a shiny look, which just makes the look look so much better, I think. Now we're done. So this is the finished look, so I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to recreating this look for yourself. I look forward to hearing all your responses to my video in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, bye bye!